How you doing? My name is Ken Promola from ILoveBJJ.com. I'm going to do 10 basic uh, submission holds that I think are going to be um, relevant for you. Some people it's going to be basic and definitely tools that you need to have in your game. We're going to start out with an arm bar from the mount. So Jordan's down. Uh, if you could turn this way here. So in order to get this arm bar traditionally from a basic standpoint, the person should push off, okay? If I'm going to teach this move, this is how I teach it. I come here, one, two, three, four, squeeze the knees, lift the hips. I usually do the move, in reality, a bit quicker. The person pushes off, come down just like so. Okay. Key here is this. As he pushes up, put one hand over top of his arm, a hand underneath, I'm pointing toward the right side here. I use this, I push off of his chest, I come up, I grab, I post, I replace my, my foot with my hand if I can't do it all in one motion. I can, I've practiced it many times. I have my hip right here on his elbow. I can also come to the elbow and keep my arm up so he can't lock his hands. Come over, squeeze my knees, keep his thumb up, Come down, lift the hip. So that is the arm lock from the mount position. We'll take a look at an arm lock from the guard position here. So right here, I grab the sleeve, I grab the elbow, I bring my elbow down. Right away I start lifting my hips. I have my left foot on his hip. My knee is close to his shoulder here. I push with my right heel, I post on his face, I bring my leg over, I bring my heels down and squeeze my knees. So one more time, I grab here and here. I want to bump him off his base. If it's here, it's going to be heavy. If I don't push the head, he brings the head down, he blocks. So I just post, get a good angle, that right heel is pointing toward the left side, come over. I point my heels down. If he starts to stand up, I bring my heels down and my hips up right here. I turn his thumb up, grab, get the submission. So that is an arm lock from the guard. We'll take a look at another position. We'll take a look at the triangle, basic triangle from the guard. Easy setup. There's plenty of setups here for this position. I hold one, I push one in. Just similar to an arm bar with the full position here. I lift my hips up, I bring my heel down, I pull the arm across, I grab the shin. If I grab the foot, he brings the head up, no good. I keep the heel down, I grab the shin right here, I come off to an angle, I come over, squeeze the, pull the head down, lift the hips, get the tap. So one more time. I'm here, I pull, I push inside, left foot on the hip, my hip comes up, my leg comes over his shoulder. Pull across here. Heel down, move my head a little bit to the side, come over. If my legs aren't long enough, you can come out to the side here, but make sure you put the heel down. Then come over the top. Okay? That is a triangle from the guard. Let's take a look at a key lock from the top. Here, all I do is I come down, just like so. Bring the elbow to the face, I bring my head down, come underneath, lift my elbow like a paintbrush to his hand. Okay, so once again, come down here, block his head, come underneath, lift up. Okay, that is called a key lock or an Americana. Um, we'll do a, a choke from the back, basic choke from the back. If you look at my videos, I, I've shown this a bit, I think it's definitely part of a, a basic curriculum for a submission here. Okay, getting it right. Come underneath, open the collar up. Come deep, pull him back a little bit. Grab here, pull down like you're ringing a bell, and pull across. Use your wrist. Come to the side here, extend. Okay, and again, you want to pull the guy back. You can't get it like this or like this. Some people, beginners, they go like this and this. No, no, no. Need a hand underneath. Open it up. Feed the collar. Come up deep. 
Bring your fingers down, one, two, three, four here, grab, come to the opposite side. You're just gonna pull it down to re remove the slack. Come to the side here, hide my elbow, just like that. Okay, so that's a choke from the back. We'll see another choke. We'll take a look at a mount choke. So here, open up, hand comes in. You want to try to touch the tag here. Try to stay in front of him. I don't want to be off to the side here. I come over, I can get the thumb inside the collar or just grab. My chest comes down. I like to bring my feet and kind of hook them on the back of his thighs here. I come down just like so and get the tap. So once again, you gotta open the collar. You have to really, really feed it, feed it. Get it deep, get it deep, get it deep. Bring the knuckle to the, toward the mat, straighten your form. Then you come over to the opposite side here. Get it as close to the neck as possible. Keep your form straight, come down and you get the choke right there. Okay, one more time. Open up the collar, pull, pull, pull. Come to the other side, come down. Okay, that is a X choke from the mount, they call that, with the top hand. This time we're just going to look at doing a baseball bat choke from the neon belly, but we're going to start from the mount position. Open the collar, I come inside with four fingers, just like this. Right here, I come inside at the same side with the thumb, here. Now I just switch to the neon belly position. I bring my elbow in front of my knee here. Now I just come down. Lower. Okay, so once again, same side, open it up, four fingers inside. Opposite side, thumb comes inside. I come across for knee on belly position. Here, if he tries to block right here, I let the knee come slide through here. I get low right away, I turn. Okay, it should be easy. The, the, the way to get the technique correct is to have your hands as close as possible. Baseball bat choke, they call that. Okay, let's take a look at a um, arm lock from the side position. This is pretty simple here. You pass the guy's guard, you get right here, you have an underhook, okay? All I'm gonna do is, I can grab my shoulder, grab my collar, I post beyond his head, I bring my knee to his hip. If he comes over toward me, that's great. It helps me facilitate this arm lock. Grab here, come low, step around here. Grab the arm, keep my elbow high, come down, squeeze the knees. So an arm lock from the side position. This is really great, you pass the guard, you get here, you realize you're underneath right here. Post in the head, grab, knee to the, 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 the navel, Step over, turn, make that small circle, keep your hips close to his body, lift the elbow up high, come down, and get the arm lock. Another position I find to be easy is when the guy's on top. You can do it from a lot of angles here. Usually when the guy is guard passing, he's got just say one hand underneath here. And look at his hand right here. That's what you're looking for. All I'm gonna do is I come underneath. Right here, I turn just like so. I bring his arm in between my ear, my shoulder. I grab here or I grab here, I turn. Okay? You can catch it from a lot of different places. From the closed guard here, he puts the hand on the, on the knee to press down, just come over right here. Here I squeeze the knees, I bring them down, just like this here. Ear to his hand and shoulder, I have it cinched up right here. Come down. Okay, so that's a reverse arm lock from the guard position. Um, we'll take a look at, at one more position. Uh, we'll do a choke from the guard. So here, all I do is I pull him. I either pull him down with my left hand or I pull him down with my right hand here, okay? Now, I bring this hand just like so. He's trying to stay tight to me here. All I do is I just bump my hips up. As I bump them up, I bring my elbow around his head. Here, now I come back to the middle. 
So once again, you can pull them down like this, you can pull them down like this, grab here, I bump up, I bring my elbow around his head, and now I pull back down for the choke. Okay, I want to get it, my, my hands as close together as possible, come over, and bring him back down here. Okay, so those are 10 techniques, 10 sub basic submission techniques. Um, check out our other, other techniques, we have guard passes, a lot of different, different stuff we're going to be having here. Thank you so much for your time. Take care.